What a nice gift to send us with the Toyota Corolla. I stopped by my local supermarket earlier and it was absolutely nuts. People were, were going crazy. And you know what's funny? They were actually like upset and angry. Oh, I gotta wait in a line for 20 minutes to buy my three loaves of bread and my three cans of bleach. Like the old people walking around seeing all the sheeple, it was, it was just discouraging and disappointing to say the least. And you know, I decided to stop by uh, my Whole Foods, which is by my gym later because I wanted to just see what's going on and pick something up and I figured, well, you know, if there's a pandemic, will people still buy at Whole Foods despite how expensive it is? And uh, you guys are gonna find out shortly. So, you know, outside of the context of this Toyota Corolla stuff, you know, wherever that originated from, whatever that plan is, the point is these people in control of us control the food supply. When you control the food supply, as you guys can see, you control the people. For those of you unfamiliar with what's going on with the food supply, our weather is regulated by solar activity. And we are at a period in time that happens every few hundred years called a grand solar minimum. This is where even at peak solar activity, it is much lower than normal. You know, so every 11 years, solar activity peaks, then 11 years later, it's at the minimum. Every solar minimum throughout history, there have been mass famines, deaths, starvation, diseases, because Solar minimum equals more volatile climate. When the solar activity is lower, there is a high variance in what happens. Ice ages, you know, crops are frozen before you can harvest them. The fields are flooded when you go to plant the next year. It's very hard to grow food. It's very hard to procure calories in the context of modern agriculture. Our current food system, the way we're monocropping, does not create healthy soil. You know, it cannot grow in poor weather like it is now, we are dependent on a relatively consistent weather pattern. So moving away from this large style farming, having people produce their own food, stuff like that is what we need in order to prevent what you're seeing from happening. This is the canned aisle at Whole Foods. Just about everything is taken. This is the cookie aisle. Potato chips. Pet food aisle. Everyone's buying food for their pets. You guys are gonna need uh, diapers with a lack of toilet paper. Bottled water mostly gone. Pasta and pasta sauce. They literally bought all the pasta and the pasta sauce. What are you guys gonna eat? Pasta for three months? What's the deal? Is that the game plan? Yeah, you know, it's funny, even, even when there's like a food crisis, people won't buy the expensive stuff. All the sugar, buying the sugar. They bought all the flour too. I guess they're making pasta, not only buying it. Cereal, all the cereal's gone. Go figure. It's so funny how everything is gone except the expensive stuff and the vegan stuff. Like if you look around, coconut water, water's gone. They bought out a lot of the nutrition bars. These are the nut milks. You know, the, the vegan fairy boys got to stock up on their nut milk. Even the, the milk academia is paying $5 for nut water. Of course, all the water's gone. This is the actual water aisle. I'm assuming people bought all the plastic water. They even bought most of the, the glass bottled stuff, except the more expensive stuff. Almost all the water's gone. I'm assuming they sold all the water and then the employees took some of this stuff out from the back. I think this was all like applesauce and canned fruit and stuff. A lot of the juices are gone. Really anything non-perishable, people just bought. Almost all of the bulk, grains, seeds, a lot of the stuff is gone. I'm assuming they just, everything was gone and they filled those up. Bulk foods, fruits, nuts and seeds, of course, those are all gone. Those are non-perishable. 
still some stuff in the bottom there. You guys have been restocking all day? Yeah, whatever comes in. Whatever comes in? Okay. Yeah, so they're, they're, they're probably, they're hurting for uh, stocking up. Even a lot of the hummus is, uh, this is usually full of stuff, but I guess uh, <laughs> even uh, starving people don't want hummus. All the chicken and the turkey was completely bought. All the chicken and the turkey. This is wild. Almost all the meat. Guys, I've been coming to this whole food since it opened a couple of uh, months ago, and it's always been stocked full of stuff. All the meat, all the frozen seafood. Everyone just bought everything out. <laughs> no one still wants to buy fish and food though. You know, a lot of the meat is gone. They still have some some fresh meat. You know, people are buying meat, people are buying stuff, but they're definitely buying more of the non-perishable stuff. You can still get some fresh food here and there. They raided the cured fish, the smoked fish. Looks like some stuff is missing by the deli counter too, but they still got some uh, some meats over there. Vegan food still present to some capacity, but even the vegans are uh, stocking up. All the frozen vegetables are gone. Almost all the frozen fruits gone. A few remnants here and there. Frozen bread's gone. Some breakfast stuff still in there. All the potatoes, the frozen broths. Pretty much anything frozen they took. Uh, the more expensive ice cream stuff and desserts, they're still in here. This is funny, they, they took the dairy ice cream, the real ice cream, but all the vegan ice cream and the coconut stuff is still here. Oatly. Coconut, cashew milk ice cream, the rest of the stuff is gone. All the frozen pizzas, gluten-free pizza, they bought everything. And you would think at a Whole Foods that, you know, people wouldn't just completely buy everything out because it's more expensive, but I guess all the other supermarkets were so packed and stuff like Costco. A lot of the uh, bacon is gone, most of the bacon. Still some eggs here. I guess people didn't want to stock up on eggs. People bought all of the uh, cheap butter. All the cheap stuff's gone. The more expensive butters they actually didn't buy. I think this is so funny. People don't want to spend money, but they're buying everything up. Yeah, the cheap cream cheese, the, the lower end brands are gone. Even the tofu's gone. Vegans will have enough uh, tofu for uh, the next three months. Vegan meats, fake meats are going. These are all of the nut yogurts. You know, still some stuff in here, still some yogurts. This is the rest of the yogurt. These are the, the actual plain dairy yogurts. Milk and milk alternatives. You know, bought almost all of it. Still a few brands left here and there. A lot of cheeses, a lot of spreads still here. You know, some of the charcuterie that's already pre-packed. I guess people didn't decide to stock up on the uh, most nutrient-dense non-perishable food, which is cheese. Go figure, people don't want to spend money. Bread's completely sold out. Uh, Produce-wise, it looks like everyone bought potatoes. This is usually full of like potatoes, some onions. But like all the fruits and vegetables, like they're still here. Like people are just buying what they think will last a long time. Plenty of apples, plenty of oranges, a lot of excess produce. So this is the paper goods and cleaning products aisle. Of course, this is gonna be completely sold out. You know, all the sanitizers, any sort of paper towels, any napkins they would have had, all gone. I'm sure they sold out like yesterday or the day before. We looked through everything and it's pretty much what's expected. You know, all of the non-perishable goods are sold out. Rice, beans, cereals, grain-based foods, nuts, dried fruit. That's what people really seem to stock up on. Then, you know, the essentials like bread, milk, yogurt, things that people eat that they think are somewhat approachable. And yeah, surprisingly, the high quality animal foods, the cheese, the steak, you know, the, the fish, no one's buying them. And it goes to show, you know, people don't want to spend money and they don't actually understand what nutrition is. Uh, I think, you know, a lot of fresh products, the pricing is going to collapse and these distributors are going to have a hard time selling it. You know, if people staying at home, eating bread, cereals, treats for the, the next few weeks or months, I think they're 
actually going to have an issue with beef especially uh, maybe some fish uh, chicken and pork maybe not as bad because people are buying bacon people are buying chicken but I don't think you know it looks good for you know the animal product industry in the states uh, some online businesses are probably doing okay because uh, people are willing to spend uh, money on you know if people are buying you know grass fed quality products anyway they're willing to spend money on them in general and they're willing to throw out some extra cash now especially in the context of what's going on and ice age farmer called this months and months ago you know empty shelves across america uh, food shortages uh, i mean hopefully he's not right about what else is going on but you know i don't expect things to uh get any better until uh, later this year one thing that is consistent across all aspects of this toyota corolla stuff there is a lack of communication there is mass confusion there is mass hysteria you have some people saying oh well all the celebrities are getting it everyone has it it's a global and you have other people saying oh the they're silencing information they're not they're not telling people what's going on but it's all planned it's all part of what's meant to happen uh, so you know what's the point in worrying about it so this lovely lady saw me vlogging in the store and now she's plugging my me company because i just handed her a business card uh, did you want to say anything? I mean, everyone's going nuts, right? Everyone's um, losing their mind. It's totally crazy in the store. There's no pasta on the shelves at Whole Foods. <laughs> um, it's a total um, wild place. You're not vegan by chance, are you? You know, I actually am. It's crazy. So I came in oh, here. Oh, no. Why does Frank always meet the vegans? Pl Plant-based stuff in here. It's been really tough. So. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, it's... I have I to mean, go hit up another store now, actually, because there is nothing here for me. I just bought a bunch of pineapple chunks, berries. They have, they have plenty of meat, though. I know that's actually they don't have a lot of meat. There's just well, a bunch they, they of, like, sold out, but there's still some left, right? But they, they sold like all the bacon pasta. bacon and uh, sausage, which is both not my thing, but um, I'll well, be in, in the context of the Toyota Corolla issue, would you uh, that's code word for you know what? Mm -hmm. uh, would you eat meat if it comes down to it? I'm going back to meat, so maybe next week. Shit, who knows. <laughs> I know we're holding up traffic. I'm gonna let you go. Right. You have a good night, okay? Peace. The Italian prince is hypnotizing the ladies wherever he goes. <laughs> For some reason, I, I, don't, I don't think I attract vegans. I, I just think every single woman is a vegan now. I think that's what it is. So what do you say? You guys think this is enough for people to finally realize that we're all just a bunch of helpless slaves? Hmm? Where are your carnivore overlords now? Woo-wee! Nowhere to be found, boys. And I'm getting to the point where I'm just gonna, I think I might start asking people for money because, you know, people supporting those people, people not talking about this is absolutely insane. It is so clear what is going on, yet you have controlled opposition, people being paid to tell you Frankie is nuts. Frankie's wearing a tinfoil hat. Don't listen to Frank Tefano. God forbid you get healthy and learn the truth. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys want to support me, you can check out Frankie Syringe Meat for high quality animal foods. That is, if we have any meat left by next week. Uh, you can go to organsupplements.com for, you know, liver, full spectrum organs, a bunch of vitamins. If you guys don't have access to that through foods or lifestyle, uh, you can go to Frankie's Naturals for minimal ingredients, minimally processed hygiene and cosmetic products. And if you guys just want to help me out, donate, you can go to paypal.me slash Frank Tofano. Thank you guys for joining me. Hopefully you have something to wipe your ass with today. Thank you.